made to be no housewife. You don't know what this could do for us. I don't even know what this is anymore. Like a good old fashioned bank robbery. Congratulations. I know the movie is out. Super, super exciting. Um, how's it been? Because I know that you guys are, you know, having it in drive throughs. Have people been seeing it? Have you been getting any feedback? Um, yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, it, it's been uh, sold out um, in so many drive ins. Uh, we, uh, fan reactions have been amazing. Uh, we've been loving the, the reviews. Um, Honestly, uh, you know, it's it's always kind of scary putting a movie out, especially just on, uh, you know, with, uh, without, you know, theaters and us experiencing this, this whole, you know, um, different time with theaters and whatnot and movie releases kind of only being on digital platforms. And uh, I'm, I'm just really excited. I think I was scared. You know, uh, but uh, I'm really excited that people are receiving the movie and they're they're digesting it in the appropriate ways. Of course, of course. Now, Josh, in your statement, you mentioned that um, Bella walked that line perfectly in terms of casting for Ariel. So, can you maybe talk about the casting process for both Bella and Jake, and what did they bring to the table in terms of personal touches to the character? Yeah. I mean, Bella was somebody. You know, I thought of when I initially wrote it because I was writing a frankly unsympathetic, unlikable <laughs> kind of crazy character. And there's a lot of actresses that probably wouldn't play it. And I felt like I'd seen in her other work, a willingness to uh, really go there, you know, in a big way. And, and I think I, I knew I needed somebody and then I forgot about it because I didn't think I was going to get her. Um, and then uh, one of our producers gave her manager the script and, and she read it and uh, by all accounts loved it. And we had a discussion and we were on the same page about what we wanted to do. And, and that became very exciting to me. She was on about a year before we started shooting, which gave us a lot of time to talk, you know, and really figure out this character. Same with Jake, you know, doing a different kind of preparation, but preparation nonetheless. And I really felt like, you know, we had plenty of time to talk and figure out these characters so that by day one, when we got on set, they were ready to go. And then after that, it was about just, you know, just kind of uh, uh, <clears throat> capturing the magic. Well, one thing that I uh, loved is, you know, when, when I read the script, like Josh said, building this kind of unlikable character, most people are really afraid to do that, you know, to build your lead as a protagonist. And, you know, I think that that's where a lot of filmmaking goes wrong is because, you know, um, we, we only kind of focus on this one format of a person. And I thought that that was so interesting. And when I, you know, talked to Josh, uh, I was like, yo, can I make her crazy? Like eccentric, big, like in your face, like weird, like doing weird, sh weird voices, weird everything. Like, you know, just someone that you, because again, we're playing this such an, you know, unlikable protagonist character to bring this level of I cannot get her off the screen. I have to keep watching her. I have to know what her next move is and I have no idea what it is. And that's the best point, is that you have absolutely no idea what she will say or do and she could really just kind of go off the wall. Uh, and when Josh and I talked about that, there was so many fun things that we came up with and built on that idea and, uh, and then it, it, that that basically was was my personal ad, attitude to, to the role to answer your question. And the chemistry between uh, you, Bella, and Jake, it, it was awesome. So maybe talk about the dynamic on set a little bit for us. Jake, you want to talk about that? Yeah. I mean, uh, as soon as Bella and I met, we, we, we instantly got along and like we were just always making each other laugh and hanging out in Oklahoma with Josh. So it was just, it was just easy. It was so relaxed and um, we were able to talk so much in the preparation, like beforehand, we did some weapons training, like all before we shot. So by the time we started filming, it's exactly what Josh said, we were just so prepared and, and ready. And then it was just um, supernatural to just like 
exist in that. Bella's like amazing at creating this like visceral feeling because she just commits so hard and it makes it so believable that um, it's just it's just fun and easy to exist in. So uh, I don't, yeah, chemistry was never like an issue. I just think like we're, we, we get along great and like we're good friends. And so it's just, at the end of the day, it was like friends making something like fun and special. Jake and I got lucky because you never know, like you know who you're, who you're gonna work with, who's gonna be your other actor, and when you have to be such close, tight knit characters, you know, attached at the hip. I think you're always kind of scared stepping onto the set as an actor because um, you know you, you you don't always get so lucky. Um, and I think yeah, yeah, from the moment Jake came over to my house to have some coffee and talk about the role when he first read the script and we sat outside um, and, and talked about so many different things and I was like wow you know I, I remember just being taken back and relieved uh, in the sense um, that I was like man we're gonna have to do so many things on this movie and so many uncomfortable things together so many hard things to pull off in such a short amount of time with you know with with this amount of budget and you know all those thoughts that that come in uh and i thought uh well at least it would be with him because he seems professional and completely just like uh, mature and realistic and you know down for the count and I was like wow I, I remember yeah I, I remember thinking that when we were we were sitting in this grass moment over here in my house uh, yeah got lucky there is a big message behind it it is a crime action thriller but the message is you know that she that Ariel wants these followers and wants this satisfaction so maybe is there anything that you would want people to take away from this movie when watching it i think one of the main messages is um how far are we willing to go in our lives and that's that's not just for ariel you know we we want to to have every single person that watches this movie find a little bit you know of Ariel inside themselves just just a teeny bit and wonder for a moment you know if they've ever pushed anyone this far if you know that the line is this thick right and as we keep evolving the line just gets thinner and thinner and thinner and more people keep crossing it and you know just because there's a screen in front of you and people can't see you doesn't mean your words aren't digested by millions around the world. And that is something really, really important. Are you a person that is going to let these things happen? Or are you a person that might push someone over this edge and you don't think it's a big deal? Like everybody needs to really digest this possibility and know that we need to be more careful. We really need to be more careful and I think that that's why we wanted to bring so much realism to this is because it, it, it should be that way you know you, you should really watch this movie and go oh that kind of made me uncomfortable I don't know I have a lot to think about now uh, and you should really sit there and think about it because your words your words are powerful of course, of course. And I did get to see the movie and something that was really interesting was the opening clip and the ending clip. They were the same. Um, and it was Ariel asking herself if this fame is what she really wanted. So if there's any advice that you could give to Ariel, what would that be? <laughs> Don't do it for the gram. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, fill out. Yeah. No, I mean, I, God, it's tough. I think the biggest challenge is that so much of it is is considered self-worth. Yeah, you know, I was about to, yeah. Uh -huh. The self-worth is not from this extreme, extrinsic thing, right? Like, if all you're after is success, you're never going to have enough of it. If all you're after is fame, you're never going to have enough of it. Like, if, if what's inside isn't there, nothing else is going to satisfy it, you know? And, and so that's a... Uh, you know, that's a tough thing. And it's hard to speak to a generation that's now grown up with it. You know, they've grown up with a phone in their hand. They've grown up with social media accounts since they were born. They've grown up with probably their parents putting them on their social media account. Mm -hmm. You know, that's challenging. It's it's almost just too woven into the fabric of society to, to, to totally eliminate it. 
Of course. And lastly, before I let you guys go, um, we also love secrets. Any maybe behind the scenes secrets from filming that we wouldn't catch when we watch the movie? Mm. Um, one cool thing was, you know, um, and I think that uh, a lot of people will, I hope that a lot of young writers and directors uh, and people that work in this industry see this and, and say, wow, dreams dreams really are possible. And if you really try and go the extra step, you know, that, uh, uh, that you can get there. One of the things we did on this movie was uh, for the last like two days of filming, we just went out with me, Jake and Josh um, and uh, maybe one other person and shot a few scenes from the movie for location benefits for to really see this Miami world to, to we live went out to Florida free. yeah and we the shot ocean. the movie in Oklahoma but we went and did two days in Florida amazing mm -hmm. and uh, that was that you know we mic'd ourselves and everything it was a very you know uh, <laughs> uh, interesting uh yeah gorilla type experience and it looked so it it, it looks so amazing in the movie you would have absolutely no idea um and uh yeah yeah i think for a lot of young, young writers and directors you know we were we were all kind of scared like oh we're just gonna go do this and hopefully you know it looks good and when you really try and you really like you see your plan and you really see it out to to, to the finish line it, it, you can create something super beautiful